Hello guys, Rob here. In this video, we are going to cover the updates and features in the latest Squirrel 1.2 release. To download the latest release of Squirrel, you can either visit the help section in your current version of Squirrel Wallet and go to releases, or you can visit sqrlwallet.io and download for either Mac, Windows, or Linux. One of the main features of this wallet release is the introduction of the SQRL token. More information on the token can be found at sqrlwallet.io visiting the token section. This token was airdropped to Telos accounts from November 6th through November 9th, 2019 at a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you had TLOS tokens in your account during that time, check your account. You now have Squirrel tokens. The main feature of the Squirrel token is that it covers your CPU and net resources. One Squirrel token allows you to cover enough resources for one transaction. Using the Squirrel token to pay for your resources also increases your VIP status in the Squirrel wallet. And now you can also earn Squirrel tokens by referring users. Now let's jump into Squirrel wallet and take a look at the new features and updates from this release. Here I am in the wallet tab of Squirrel Wallet. And in this update, the token balances have been properly formatted for easier readability, as well as the inclusion of the logo with each token. Also, now new tokens are automatically pulled from GitHub, so you no longer need to go in and manually add a custom token when a new token is airdropped on your account. In the upper left hand corner you can now add an avatar and bio simply by clicking the image. Here you can input a bio and choose an avatar. Now this account has an avatar and a bio. Under this you can see two new buttons, the VIP and the referral section, both Squirrel token features. In the VIP section, this shows the different VIP levels, the usage requirements, and the benefits. At the top, you can also see how many SQRL tokens you have already consumed. And in the future, there will be a way to upgrade and bypass the usage requirements for these different VIP levels. Next to VIP levels is the referral section. Here is where you can track the amount of referrals you have and see how many tokens you have earned from referrals. You and your friend will both earn five Squirrel tokens when their account is created. And here is your custom referral link. Copy that and share that. Anyone who goes through your link and creates a new free Telus account, the sign up and you as the referrer will both receive five Squirrel tokens. Wallet actions are now placed into different sections. There is the buy, sell, swap section. This is where you can move from fiat to crypto, as well as use the Bancor token swap feature, VIP level one required for this. Below that is the send, receive, stake. Here you can send tokens, receive tokens, manage your stake, buy RAM and sell RAM, and the advanced tab where you can broadcast signed transaction. By default, paying for resources with Squirrel is active. So any transactions you do here will increase your consumption level of Squirrel token for those VIP statuses. But you can turn this off if you do not want to pay for resources using the Squirrel token. This is done in the Tools section. On the Tools section homepage, scroll down to the use squirrel token to pay resources. Here you can either keep it as default, use my squirrel tokens to pay for CPU net or turn it off. Do not use squirrel tokens to pay for CPU net resources. Right below this, you can also find the show network resources and wallet. By default, this is turned off. And if we go back and look at the wallet before there was the box in here that showed your RAM, CPU and net. You can see it's not here right now, but if I come back to the tools section and go to the show network resources and wallet and click the show available network resources, it will reappear. There it is, RAM, CPU, and net. 
if you are using Squirrel Token to pay for your resources, you don't need to be concerned with what your resources are. So it cleans up the wallet tab to just have that turned off. Now on to my favorite update here in the T-Rex, the Rex tab. The feature it seems like everyone's been asking for is Telos Earnings. So you can now see on the Rex tab the amount of TLOS you have earned as a result of lending to Rex. Also now when you go to Unlend from Rex in the Unlend TLOS section, this gives you a breakdown of your maturing loans your liquid loans, and your loans in savings. The liquid amount is the amount that can be unlent right now. And you now specify how much you want to unlend in TLOS instead of unlend in Rex. So you put in the amount you want to unlend. I'm getting an error because I don't have any liquid TLOS in Rex at this point. But you put in the amount of TLOS you want to unlend and it automatically calculates the RECs for you. This update also brings the ability to move your RECs loans to and from savings. This can be found under advanced actions. There's the move to savings and move from savings. Under the move to savings it shows you the amount of balance you have that can be transferred to savings as well as the amount you have in savings. And just like unlending, this is in TLOS. So if I wanted to move five TLOS over to savings, it automatically calculates the RECs for me. Move to savings, confirm. And then move from savings. In here, you can move the loans you have in savings out of savings and start that five day unstaking period. So I'll just go ahead and move those five TLOS I just sent to savings out of savings. Again, in TLOS, and it automatically calculates the Rex balance for you. Move TLOS from savings. So now that five day unstaking period just started on those TLOS I just moved out of savings. So there you go, guys. There is the latest updates and features of the Squirrel 1.2 wallet release. Stay tuned for our upcoming video where we cover fiat to crypto purchases and the Bancor token swap feature. If you have any questions, head on over to the Squirrel Telegram group. And if you don't have a Telos account yet, use the link in the description to get five free Squirrel tokens when you sign up for a new account through Squirrel Wallet. But that's going to do it for this one. I will see you in the next one.